It was early in the morning. Clater was sitting outside the station, whilst his driver and an FRA inspector were having a heated argument. Look, can you cut him some slack, dadgummit? He's already been through enough. Hey, look, I'm only doing my job. Unfortunately, your engine doesn't have an up-to-date speed recorder in the cab. <sighs> I'm afraid I'm gonna have to slap a 25 mile an hour speed restriction on him until we reach Chattanooga. Speed recorder? Only diesels need those. Clater here has a speedometer. Clearly, you lack knowledge and intelligence of steam locomotives. Look, as I said before, I'm only doing my job. The law is the law and I can't change that. Besides, I don't know why idiots like you go around wasting your time playing around with old steam trains. That engine right there is more of a liability concern to me. Psh, whatever. We gotta get the we gotta get going anyway. We're already half an hour late. I at least wanna get to Chattanooga by the end of the day. Right. I'm getting paid by the hour, so let's just go. Oh, it's all right, Clater. We know for sure you are not a liability. That FRA inspector is narrow-minded and ignorant. Besides, I truthfully don't even think he knows the difference between a speed recorder and a speedometer. I heard that. Ah, shut up, Parker. Oh, I know. Oh, come on, Clater. It'd be a fine. The railroad, the railroad we're going to make take mighty good care. Of. Yeah, I'm just gonna miss the others while I'm gone. Well, I can give you a bit of good news. You want a friend? 45 over. Yeah, what about him? Well, from what I hear, he's being delivered to the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum. I believe it is not far from the railroad you're heading to. Hey, you do be virtually dangerous. Well, that takes a little bit of stress off my wheels. What about the other two? I believe that they were both purchased from a railroad somewhere just north of here. I think they were heading to Virginia. I'm not positively sure. But I think that's where they're going. Well, I guess I could go visit them if I'm not busy or if they're not busy. I don't know. Well, you know, Clater. As they say, only time will tell. Made it at last. Chattanooga, Tennessee. Welcome to your new home, Clater. Finally, I'm burning up in this cab. Oh my gosh, Parker, all I've heard you do is constantly spout off and complain about how bad your day is going because you have to ride in a stupid little steam engine. If you haven't any respect for engines like Clater here and the people who take care of them for me, like me, then by all means, please exit. Fine then. Couldn't wait to get out of this grimy cab all day. The FRA inspector clumsily fell out of the cab. Clater and his crew laughed uproariously at his misfortune. That's not funny. I could have seriously injured myself. <laughs> Go home, will ya? I'm liable to sue you people. Clater and his crew again laughed hysterically as the frustrated FRA inspector walked away covered in mud. <laughs> I gotta admit, after all the static he's been giving us all day, watching that was very satisfying. Well, without further ado, let's get on down to the roundhouse. CSRX's controller is waiting there, and we don't want to keep him and uh, wait want him to get impatient.
So, uh, where is the railway controller? Yeah, he should be here in just a few moments. Oh, well, he'd better get here soon. I think I'm about to pass out. Uh. Look, here he is now. Good evening, gentlemen. My name is Mr. Fields, the railway controller of the Chattanooga Southern Railway Company. Well, it's mighty nice to see you. We've had a quiet a day. I'm sure you have. I heard about the FRA inspector giving you crap about speed limits and liability concerns. Sounds like some liberal commie to me. Trust me, imagine having to ride in the cab with that guy. He spouted off and complained all day long. I've got to say, Clayton and us got a kick out of watching that guy fall into a mud puddle. Well, that reminds me. I've come to see Clayton. Yeah, right. You might want to hurry up, though. He's on the brink of passing out, and you might want to make whatever you're going to say to him fast. I shall, then. Hey there, Clayton. You feeling all right? And, well, it looks like I'm a bit too late. He's already asleep. Well, I guess he's had enough for one day. Hmm, I see. Let's just let him rest for now. I'll do the whole introduction thing tomorrow. Ah, that sounds mighty good. Well, I suggest we shuffle on out of here. Clayton's had a long day. I'll see y'all in the morning.